Morning, Dad. What are you wearing? It's just a dress, Dad. Just a dress? You you look like you look like one of those women. But what kind of women? You know what I mean. You are disgracing this family. Dad, it's just fashion. It doesn't change who I am. You were raised with values, and this is not how you show them. I'm an adult now. I can make my own choices. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Fine, but if you want to be a part of this family, you will dress appropriately. And if I don't? Then maybe, maybe you're not my daughter anymore. Is clothing more important than your love for me? It is about respect. Respect is mutual, Dad. What is going on in here? Dad doesn't approve of my dress. <sighs> Again? She's disgracing us. Maybe you're disgracing us by judging your daughter so harshly. I, I, just, I, I just want what's best for her. If you wanted what was best for her, then you would love her for who she is, not for what she's wearing. You, you know what? You should be on my side. This, this is ridiculous. My goodness, John, what has gotten into you? What has gotten into me? What has gotten into you, woman? I am tired of always being the bad guy here. We need to talk about Eliza and the way that she dresses. What about? Are you kidding me? You see the way that she's dressing nowadays? It is, it, it's just, it, it's not appropriate. John, she's trying to find her style. All teenagers go through that phase. Find her style, give me a break. Wearing skirts? that short and those tops that leave nothing to the imagination. You know what? I might not be Calvin Klein, but that is not style. Oh, come on, John. We were young once too. Remember the clothes we used to wear? I recall a few mini skirts in my closet and some shorts of yours that were quite tight. Okay, that was a different time, Carol. And, and, and it wasn't as, it, I don't know, it wasn't as bold as it is today. Why is it that every generation thinks that the next generation is so much bolder? Oh, come on, John. I mean, Eliza is a smart girl. She knows her boundaries. It is not just about her. It is about how the world, and most importantly, how guys perceive her. People will get the wrong idea. And what would that ideal be, John? That she's confident? That she's comfortable in her body? <laughs> no, no. Guys are going to think that she is easy and that she's looking for attention in the wrong way. And then what will people think of us as parents? You know she's gonna get a boyfriend or girlfriend eventually. You can't stop that. It is my job to try. No, it's not. It's your job to teach her self-worth, not to dictate to her what her wardrobe should be. If she's confident and she knows her values, she won't be swayed by what others think. I mean, we've done our job. We've done a great job. Now we just need to trust her, John. Why is this so hard for you to understand? Let me tell you, men are animals. We can't shield her from the world by controlling her wardrobe, John. As long as she's in my house, then I don't think it is too much to ask for her to follow my rules. John, yelling won't solve anything. Uh, you just don't get it. <sighs> John, you really need to calm down. And you need to just listen to me and do what I say for once in your life. Please take a breath, John. Just calm down. I can't talk to you when you're like this. Honey, get up. Mom, are you all right? I heard Dad yelling earlier. He didn't hit you or anything, did he? No, but he's becoming more and more unpredictable. It's not just about what he did yesterday or, or today. It's about everything leading up to this point. And I've been trying to ignore the signs, hoping that they would go away, but they haven't. Mom, what are you trying to say? We need to pack up our things and leave tonight. It's not safe for us here anymore. 
I don't want to take any more chances with our safety, with yours or mine. But where will we go? We have a safe place, a friend's house where he can't find us. Are we ever coming back? I don't know. But for right now, we need to prioritize our safety. I don't want you to worry, okay? I will do everything to protect you. We gotta move fast, though. Get up and get your clothes. Okay. Quickly. Hello? Anybody here? Where is everybody?